welcome to the channel today we are going to see class 11 ncrt or cbsc chapter number 8 binomial theorem exercise 8.1 roman number 13 show that 9 power n plus 1 minus 8n minus 9 is divisible by 64 whenever n is positive integer they said so what we need to prove see the proof now uh, the 9 power n plus 1 minus 8n the 9 which is equal to 64 into some constant okay so like that we have to bring means uh, this whole number is divisible by 64 because the multiple k goes to opposite it is divided like that only they have to prove so where k is some constant where k is some constant like that you can take okay now this one we need to prove that's it I mean this answer you have to prove okay for this I'm going to use the binomial theorem 1 plus x whole power n which is equal to n c naught x power naught plus n c 1 x power 1 n c 2 x power 2 and so on n c n x power n in this given uh, i'm going to take only the 9 power n plus 1 because uh, for this number alone we have power for the remaining things we don't have anything so that uh, the 9 power n plus 1 uh, i'm going to write uh, in the form of uh, 1 plus 8 because uh, for getting in the form of 1 plus x the power is n plus 1 only this will not change anything so i'm going to use it uh, like this form uh, here the value of x is 8 so instead of x uh, just put the value x is 8 so put x equal to 8 uh, in this uh, formula understand now what you will get here n value in the sense of uh, the power n plus 1 so n plus 1 uh, c naught 8 power 0 plus n plus 1 c 1 8 power 1 like this so like this you have to write n plus 1 c 2 8 power 2 and so on it will go n plus 1 c n plus 1 8 power n plus 1 like this you need to write understand so here plus okay now if you simplify this now you will get the required one now see this n c naught means n plus 1 the c naught in the sense you will get a 1 okay 8 power 0 that is also 1 then leave it here c 1 in the sense what we have here the same number only you will get so n plus 1 into 8 power 1 8 plus n plus 1 c 2 is there so this is the required one here 64 we need to bring because 64 is required so here we have 8 square so from this all the term i am taking 8 square outside then what is the remaining here n plus 1 c2 8 i taken outside that's it in the next term n plus 1 c3 c3 now 8 power 3 you will get 8 2 i taken outside the remaining 1 8 like that and so on it will go up to plus n plus 1 c n plus 1 whole power actually we have 8 power n plus 1 from this I, I take in 2 outside means the power will be reduced minus 2 then what I am getting 8 power n minus 1 so here I am going to write 8 power n minus 1 that's understand now we will start to simplify this here we have 1 plus this 8 you can multiply inside 8 into n 8 1 8 is 8 okay now the 8 squared value 64 this all the things I am taking as a k okay k is yes some constant I set but here accurately the k which is equal to what we taken inside this bracket everything you have to write means the n plus 1 c2 n plus 1 c3 8 and so on this what is that uh, n plus 1 c n plus 1 8 power n minus 1 this fully i taken as a k understand now this side we have 9 power n plus 1 now we have here 9 plus 1 
I mean 9 power n plus 1 which is equal to 8 plus 1 in the sense 9 I am getting and plus 8n plus 64k okay so we need only this side 64k the remaining thing is say opposite side so we have 9 power n plus 1 and this value goes to opposite now first this is 1 and next minus 8n and here minus 9 which is equal to 64k so this only we need to bring because the multiple 64 goes to opposite it will be divide so that this all the things is divisible by 64 that is only we need to bring so we got it okay hence it's proved so i told you where k is some constant understand that is don't don't forget that's it i hope you'll understand this thank you thanks for watching this video subscribe for getting more videos and press the bell icon for getting notification